Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be doing an updated version um, of how I build my model airports. I say updated because around a year ago I attempted a video called how to make, you know, a model airport. Uh, but it actually wasn't that great. I mean, I stumbled a lot, I didn't really go through it, it was in different videos and never got to do, I think, the fourth part or third part to it. Uh, but now I'm going to come back and do a remastered version um, of a 2018 guide of how to build your own model airport. So without further ado, let's get started. So you will need a few things to start off with and these are what I use personally to build my model airports. You will need different color base paints. So base paints are the paints you get in big tins, you know, the ones you use to paint a wall or something. Um, this is what you're gonna use to paint the tarmac or the, or the ground surface. Now there's three different colors I generally use within my airports and they represent different materials that they use in real life so for example I use the color wildwood for my Dulles airport this is to represent uh, concrete because if you actually look at concrete it's more this color and not gray I use a light gray for asphalt so yeah and then the final color is a black now black is only used I've never used it as an actual you know taxiway or runway but as like a borderline or a threshold or a blast pad for a runway or taxiway um, so yeah there's many places you can get these from um, in real life uh, I'll, I'll tell you where um, you can get them from in a minute you can also find out what uh, material your airport you're basing yours off uh, uses uh, it just go onto Wikipedia and down the side the right hand side it should say all the different runways that airport has how long they are what the number of the runway is and what they're made out of. The next thing you will need is paint pens. Um, now, the reason why I use paint pens instead of actual paints is, you know, some people put masking tape down and then paint over the masking tape and then peel it up. Now, it can bleed. It's very easy to bleed under those um, circumstances. So I use paint pens as they're easy. It's just like using felt tips, but it's actual paint. Uh, and the, I use a certain brand. They're called Posca. Um, I'll have the link down in the description of where I get these, um, like an, an, an Amazon page of where they get them. Um, and they do cost quite a lot, which is a downside, but um, after a while you build up a big collection and you won't need to replace them as much. The next thing you'll need is frog tape. Now frog tape is um, similar to masking tape, but it doesn't allow for any bleeding. Um, so the thing is, is there's the two kind of tapes people use. Masking tape, it bleeds really easily. So that means that when you peel it up, the paint kind of seeps through. Um, but then again, if you use duct tape, um, you'll paint it, it'll be fine, but then when you pull it up, it'll rip off the base paint. Um, so you'll need duct, um, not duct tape, uh, you'll need frog tape for this. Um, and yeah, that again will be in the links in the description. Also, you're going to need a roll of modeling grass. Um, you should be able to get this in your local hobby shop, but if not, I'll have again linked in the description. You will also need some minor stuff you may already have. Just make sure you do already have them. So you'll need a ruler, a pencil, a protractor, a print stick, um, and different sizes of paintbrushes. The final thing you'll need is wood. Now you can find wood in either B, B and Q for British people or Home Depot for any Americans or any hardware shop for anywhere else in the world. I recommend using a 12 millimeter MDF board. Um, luckily with B and Q, you can get it cut um, for no extra cost to your size and how you'd like it. Uh, but if not, just use a saw and cut your wood basically to the shape you want it. Uh, make sure you allow for you know how big it's going to be. Make sure you can fit it in the room you're going to put it in. Um, it sounds stupid, but people do do it. Now when you're planning uh, your airport, bear in mind how many international gates you're going to have compared to domestic gates. Uh, and try to plan out what your airport will look like on paper. Um, once you're ready to get started, then with painting, um, you're going to paint the whole board in the colour that will appear the most on your airport. Um, so this is either wildwood, light grey or black if you're going by my preferences. Once you've gone over with a few, few copes, use um, frog tape um, to go over all the areas you want to not get marked up with your second colour. 
So the second colour for me is going to be black and this is going to highlight or outline all the taxiways and also be on the blast pad. So once you've laid out all the frog tape then you can paint on a few coats over the frog tape. Once you've done that peel up the frog tape and it should be nice and non-bled. Now it's time for the grass. There are many ways of adding grass to your airport. The first I do not recommend and this is simply uh, because it is very messy and it often doesn't go right um, but the first way you can do it is using grass powder um, now again with if you're gonna go with this uh, it's easier I guess you could say but you put frog tape down on anywhere that where you don't want the grass then you layer your whole airport with PVA glue and sprinkle the grass all over it and then when the glue has dried you'll have some grass where you want it to be and just peel up the frog tape. Now I don't have any footage of that because that's not the way I did it. I did do it over one of the hinges as you can't actually put the roll over the hinges um, but yeah I don't really use this way much. The next way which is the way I do recommend um, and this is using a roll of uh, modeling grass so this is pretty easy you just get a roll of modeling grass cut out the shapes you want stick it on with Pritt stick um, and then you're pretty much done there's not much to it it's pretty self-explanatory um, yeah the third way is very it's not very realistic but I guess you can and that's to simply paint all the areas green now for markings, now if you get a pencil and a ruler and just go around all the places where you're going to have them, make sure they look good. Um, I'm not actually going to go through what markings go where and different things. Um, I would suggest looking at Google Maps for this, just going over to your airport and seeing what runway's what, you know, what number to have. Just look at how it looks and just get it right. It's your personal preference really. Uh, and once you've gone over that and pencil, it looks good, then go over it in paint pen. Be very careful not to um, go over another pen paint pen color when it's not dry otherwise this can smudge um, but apart from that I've got no other tips um, just do your best and you know see how it turns out to get rid of the pencil markings I would recommend not rubbing it out this is how I'd recommend get the base color that's on it and just paint over those pencil markings because when you rub out something with an eraser um, it can actually leave a mark and it doesn't look very good. Now for gates, I actually use a template for my airports. Um, so I'll try and post these on Instagram if, you, if you'd like, uh, for the different sizes. And uh, you can copy these if you want, I, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, so um, I use I use different sizes of gates, they're all in templates. Um, so I just draw them out on pencil. Um, but I only have in templates the center line and the red outline of the gate. Um, so any other details, so like the white hashes and the red hashes, I add myself. Um, the cargo gates I added to Baltimore, these were actually completely done from scratch. I don't have a template for these. Um, only for the pushback gates, as I like to call them, um, I have them in a template. Again, it's up to you what you want your gate to look like. Gates across all airports uh, differ. Um, so again, go onto Google Earth to see what it looks like and yeah just go ham basically after you've done this there should be some minor touch-ups um, like painting some little bits you might have missed out on um, some mistakes you've done or anything like this but this is pretty much it um, it does sound simple but it does take a long time to make one of these airports to make it just right um, now I have with Baltimore made it so my whole airport folds up um, now to support your airport you can either use like some kind of table that you rest it on, you can even put it on the floor, um, but I've made like this skeleton underneath made out of wood um, with some L brackets and I just rested it on top of that. It kind of gives off a good effect because there's no legs to the airport so it kind of looks like it's floating in a way, um, kind of I guess, but that's pretty much it, that's all I'm going to really go over. Um, now I did add some other things like an ILS box. Um, now these are just made out of card, um, I might make um, another video this time next week on how to make one of these ILS boxes, um, so if you'd like to see that just comment down below uh, what you think um, and that should be out one week today. Now I am going to release a video on how to make a model terminal. Now. At the moment, I haven't actually built any terminals myself. At the moment, however, I am recreating my Reagan airport. Now, I should have terminals on this airport. I'm trying my best to have them on there, and they're going to be homemade. So if they turn out quite good, I'm going to make a video after I come back from the USA in a few months. Um, 
and I should have another video just like this on how to build a model airport. Um, speaking of the USA, it's not long until I go there now. Um, I should have two videos after this and then I'm off to the USA. Um, so I can't wait for that. And yeah, if you have any questions on how to build a model airport, please feel free to comment them down below. Um, but apart from that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.